I don't know how to do this. But yeah, um, basically this is my first ever um, thing when I talk in it. Except for like the stop motion. But I decided I would put this on because I don't really get it. I don't really get like Batman people. Because I think it's just a waste of money. So um, yeah, basically um, I've made my own little person and their own little hideout. Um, and it's Mr. Freeze and it's Terrible. I know, how amazing. Um, but we'll look at the characters later. Um, I just want to look at the the boat first. So basically, that's his control room. He's got helium right there to make sure he stays um, um, breathing because it's not very really good if he doesn't breathe because then he can't breathe and he'll, he'll like die. Um, we've got two things that you'd normally see on a car, but he used it on his boat. Also, there's like it was supposed to be like a fire boat, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's actually a nice boat. Um, we've got a prison here. Um, and he's captured a police officer. We've also got um a picture of Batman right there, and um Mr. Freeze's escape route, but we'll see that soon. Um, and his door. And then his viable room with a computer to turn on the freeze thing where there's someone actually in there. But we'll get to that later. I don't actually know how to talk on a video, so this is like my first time. So. Um, but yeah, um, the boat is for 0 25, because why not? Um, looks like Batman's going to run in, jump through here, and do it for there. And I see you probably want to do Why am I doing this in my bathroom? Well, because basically. In my bedroom, it's like the like, horrible ball, like the yellow ball and all that. And I like white. Well, it's not white, but you know what I mean. So yeah, it's kind of in my bathroom, if you haven't realised. But yeah, let's go and look at the characters now. Because um, there's four characters, you can only see three, but there's one in here. So let's just go and look into one now. So here are all four characters. We've got Batman, we've got one of the police officers. We've got Mr. Freeze and the guy that has been freezing in the um, the freeze machine. And basically, there's nothing really on there. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. That's it. And I'll just stick on it. Um, but yeah, um, I might have to upgrade this. Yeah, I'm going to have to upgrade. Like, you know. But let's look at Batman first. Um... Batman has got a swimsuit on since uh, Mr. Freeze has got a terror boat. Um, well, a nice boat. He does have a vehicle. I'll show you that later, though. But even though he, if he falls into the water, he doesn't want to get like his original suit all wet. That's that would that would probably be my excuse. Um, he's got two alternate faces. He's got a submarine face. And then he has got his um, original face, which is this. Um, and if we take off this big, um, this thing, and uh, we show you what he looks like then, he would look like this. So he's got his bat symbol, he's got his six pack and it's got water balloons with a nice lovely texture nothing on the um the arms he's got black hands and um yeah and that's basically it for batman so now we're gonna go on to the um police officer and um, he's just the original police officer he's not really special it's just that mr freeze has taken him in he's gonna freeze him just like this guy over here and um, He's got a, walk, a walkie-talkie um, and a badge, and you're probably thinking, well, why didn't he just bring someone on the walkie-talkie? Because he's stupid. He didn't know anything. Um, just like me, to be fair. Um, he's got pockets, a belt, and on the back it has police. And some more pockets with a radio string. Um, he's got his hat, and then it's his eyebrows, if you can see his eyebrows. He hasn't got an alternate face. Um, so yeah, that was the policeman. My Probably my least favourite in this one. 
And then we've got um, uh, Mr. Freeze. This is my Mr. Freeze, so I made him up with all my like my Lego men, and my Lego pieces, and all that. So there's kind of a lot to show to Mr. Freeze, so it's quite hard to like move around a bit. I used a bit of Star Wars. I used the Star Wars body from the Stormtrooper, and then the Star Wars hat for the helical. Um, the pilot fighter. So I'm just gonna remove this gun. I'm just gonna actually I'll just leave it like that. Um, so that's what it looks like with all the guns. So you can see everything. Um, he's got this little thing to keep him alive. Um, which is actually generated by this diamond. Clumsy clock. Um, and he has the Batman face as well. I didn't know what to do for his face, and I couldn't find a guy with sunglasses because like Mr. Freeze wears sunglasses. Um, and he is like white skinned, he's not like this yellow. Um, so I used the Batman and he stuck two alternate faces the not very happy one, that's probably when he sees Batman, and the very happy one when he's freezing the people. Um, also, this is what it looks like oh, without the thingy majiggy, it's just like a Star Wars. Stormtrooper thing. So I'm going to put that back on and then we're going to look at the, the freeze thing in the jiggy. Oh no, it's got all like bendish. The generator thing in the jiggy. Um, so here it is. It's just the original camera, but it's like got the diamond at the end and a glass thing here. And actually, that's the wrong way. It's supposed to be like right there. And then we need to put on his helmet. And he's got his white gloves. Um, I wanted to do him white because, like, he likes the cold. You know, and snow is cold. So, you know, it's like that. And then for the last person, um, he isn't actually a yellow face. He's actually Jack Sparrow's face. But, you know, you can't really see it from here. Um, so he's the guy that's been freezing. Um, he's got his casual little hoodie. Some blue jeans, just some normals, no print on it or anything. And then we've got his ginger hair and with his yellow hands. And then he's got two alternate faces, like I said, he's not actually a yellow face, he's actually a right, but this is like him cold, and then this is Jack Sparrow himself. Um but yeah, basically if you were playing a game that wouldn't really fit because it doesn't work like that. But that is all the um, Lego people. So now we're just going to go on to the, the vehicles. And then basically that's it. So yeah, I'll see you guys after that. So this is one of the vehicles. I can't fit both of them on. And it's not really a vehicle. Um, it's a boat. And this is Batman's, um, like one of the Batman's. Like, I think this should be Robin's to be fair. Um, so, But I didn't get Robin in this set. It's not really a set, it's just my luck. I didn't really want to put him in. Because I was like, nah, Robin's not really important. Maybe Batman just borrowed it, you know? So if it's two people, and you can have, people have like, someone standing here, and like someone sitting there, and someone sitting there, or someone standing there, and, you know? Um, but it's basically just a little claw thing, just to like grab onto the back of the boat, maybe, and like drag it around a bit. And then he can jump off it like this. So he's like sitting down and then jumps onto the boat. And then that will still hang on to the boat whilst he's like trying to take him down. Um, not really a big thing. That horrible noise that I just made. Chains coming down from the arms. Got these little spinny thingies. Um, radio, just in case they need to listen to some music, you know. If I had to go and fight some criminals, I would ask for a radio in my car. Um, yeah, that is the good guy's his vehicle. Now, let's look at Mr. Freeze's escape boat. <laughs> and here it is. The most tiniest boat ever. So basically, like, if Batman has destroyed his boat, or maybe Mr. Freeze thinks he's not powerful enough, he will jump onto this boat and then swim away, maybe underground. And then he'll, like... Maybe he'll like grab a diamond with this, or maybe grab 
Batman and like try and kill him with it. Um, but he would stand on here. Um, actually, no, he would ha grab onto that and he'd start swimming. And it would take Batman to take him down. We've got a golden pot here. It's supposed to be a lever. Got some glass. Um, maybe for a, like a searchlight. And then this is the claw. Um, yeah. And then these two things are just stand it off. Like that. And then when he actually needs to go. Leo, he has to go. And he goes. Whoosh. But yeah. That is basically it for this this whole mark. Um, it took me like I don't know how long it took me. It didn't take me long. It took me one night. But to be fair, there's not a lot of detail in it. Even though it took me ten minutes to do this, and my God, I need to be really quick at talking. Not I'm really quick at school at talking. But yeah. Um. So here it is. The Mr. Freeze's um, ice belt. All of that set. So yeah, I don't know how to say thank you or anything like that. So I'm not even going to bother. Because basically... Oh, there's a spider. A spider. Yeah, basically... Um, I'm really bad at saying goodbyes. I'm really good at saying goodbye to my friends. Like, but to random people I don't even know. I don't even know how to say goodbye. I'm just like, bye. Walk off. But yeah, I'm going to just say um, goodbye and then leave, okay? So if it's really awkward at the end, like if I just say bye and then it just stops. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. As you can tell, I really don't know how to do this. But yeah, um, yeah, basically that, that's it. Yeah, this is it. So I'm just going to say goodbye now and then leave, okay? Eight, three, two, one, goodbye. Actually, no, I'm just going to go and say this bit. Spider. Spider wants to come and say goodbye. Wait, no, you're climbing into my toilet. You'll probably die there. Okay, bye. I have to I have to go and save the spider. Bye.